A new study reveals something incredible. Apparently, we are part of a larger cosmic structure with our galaxy, which has now been rediscovered. This would mean that our entire understanding of space and time could be turned upside down. We are not alone and isolated in the void of space. Rather, we flow together with hundreds of thousands of other galaxies in a colossal cosmic stream that moves inexorably towards something gigantic and inexplicable. If we imagine the entire known universe, with a diameter of about 93 billion light years, as a huge beach about 10,000 kilometers long, our Milky Way is no more than a small, single grain of sand. Yet, our Milky Way is a remarkable galaxy with a diameter of 100,000 light years and 100 to 400 billion stars. Within this grain of sand, we Earthlings on our planet are an infinitesimal nothing. And now imagine that the largest known structures within this cosmic beach are perhaps the size of a handheld shell or a larger flat stone. For a few years now, we have known that the cosmic dance is actually like an enormous ocean in which galaxies flow along certain lines. They form groups and loose collections, and they all flow towards a mysterious structure that scientists call the Great Attractor. For a long time, it seemed that our position within this cosmic dance was clearly defined. But now, new images from the Gaia satellite are overturning everything we previously knew. We are very likely part of a cosmic structure that defies the dimensions of our minds. The Milky Way and the Laniakea Supercluster The mystery of our position in the universe is that we do not belong to the Laniakea Supercluster as previously assumed, but are part of a much larger structure. Laniakea is Hawaiian and means vast sky or vast paradise. The name was given to the supercluster to emphasize its immense size and the overwhelming scale of this galactic home territory. The Laniakea supercluster contains about 100,000 galaxies and extends over 520 million light years. The smaller unit that our Milky Way joins is a cluster of galaxies called the Local Group. Together with these structures, we drift through space. But remember that our galaxy is no more than a grain of sand in this gigantic cosmic river. If we turn to the largest known structures in this context, we encounter giants such as the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall or the Shapley Concentration. The Shapley Concentration has a diameter of about 1.4 billion light years and is thus far larger than most other known structures in the universe. Compared to the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, which is about 10 billion light years long. The Shapley Cluster looks small again, and yet we are still talking about cosmic dimensions that we can hardly realistically imagine with our minds. Astronomers try to observe and study these structures and cosmic flows from Earth. They hope that this will finally help them to find out what purpose the universe serves and whether there is a goal in these gigantic flows that will give us insights into the journey of the universe. Is the universe a living entity? It sounds incredible, but just 100 years ago, scientists thought that the Milky Way was the whole universe. Astronomers then slowly began to look beyond the boundaries of our galaxy and at first saw nothing. A long and great darkness, until a new, faint glow appeared in the fields of vision. A cosmic fog, which initially could not be defined more closely, was given the name Andromeda. Named after a mystical figure from Greek antiquity, this cosmic glow soon became our first recognizable galaxy neighbor. Then, many more galaxies followed and even more enormous discoveries. It is almost unbelievable how big the universe is, and we have probably only explored a small part of it. Cosmic flows have only been known for a relatively short time, and they raise questions. What laws govern the directions of motion of galaxies? Where do they flow to and why? As late as the 19th century, researchers imagined the universe as a rigid structure in which each star sits in a fixed place. Today we know that we are swirling through the galaxy at an estimated 828,000 kilometers per hour with our solar system and tearing through the universe at a mere 2.1 million kilometers per hour aboard the Milky Way. We live much more in a gigantic whirlpool than in a contemplative structure and these dynamics must follow some kind of laws. 
Sir Isaac Newton was the first to describe these laws of motion in the 17th century, and Albert Einstein later developed these ideas further into the general theory of relativity. However, all these theories have so far only been able to describe the phenomena of the universe and the forces involved. But our theories have never come close to finding a satisfactory answer to the question of why. The currents and incredible structures provide more and more evidence of a universe that resembles a living entity. But if the universe is mobile and alive like an ocean, who or what moves it? Scientists of the 21st century are now trying to answer these questions through large-scale observations of the universe. Gaia, the space telescope of the European Space Agency, ESA, is surveying the entire sky for this purpose, 24-7, providing accurate three-dimensional images of the currents and galaxy distribution in the universe. Euclid, also operated by ESA, can cover an even larger area of the sky. And soon, NASA's Vera C. Rubin Observatory will be scanning the universe in real time, 24-7. With the help of these best telescopes of all time, scientists want to unlock the secret of the universe and finally clarify our position in it. Gaia reveals incredible things about the Milky Way. Are you wondering why it's important to know exactly where we are in this cosmic dance? Scientists have determined the position of our Milky Way in the universe several times and have come up with something amazing. The exact positioning of our home galaxy is important for drawing conclusions about the flows and distributions of other structures. Observing structures with dimensions like the Hercules superclusters or the Shapley concentration is not that easy in practice. Imagine looking through a dense tangle of branches and leaves at the forest beyond. Our own galaxy, with its stars, nebulae, and motions, is an obstacle through which we have to see. Behind it, scientists look into the depths of the universe to detect other galaxies or much larger structures, such as massive superclusters and galaxy filaments. The position of the Milky Way plays a central role as a fixed point in this observation. Only if we know where we are can we reliably understand how other galactic structures move and are distributed relative to us. Further challenges that researchers have to contend with are distortions and deflections within the observations. The space of the universe is curved by the gravity of large structures. So, we are not looking into a clearly defined plane, but into a space full of dense obstacles and movement. Determining our exact position here and evaluating the observations correctly is a real challenge. Even more precise maps of the universe should provide even more precise maps of the cosmic landscape. And ultimately, we want to use these maps to better understand all the wonders of the universe. The latest findings of the Gaia mission have now revealed something incredible. The latest positioning of the Milky Way indicates that we may not be part of the Laniakea supercluster after all, but may belong to the Shapley supercluster. This discovery was made by the Cosmic Flows 4 survey, which re-evaluated the movements and positions of around 56,000 galaxies within the Gaia data. These latest data now show that our Milky Way lies in a larger area of attraction that influences the gravity of the Shapley supercluster. However, it remains to be seen whether we are a real part of the Shapley structure or whether this new position has to do with the fact that the Milky Way has been pulled out of its previous structure by a mysterious attractor. The Milky Way has only one goal, the Great Attractor. Let us imagine the universe once again as a vast, endless ocean in which billions of galaxies drift like colorful fish. Each of these galaxies is on its own journey through the invisible currents of space. Nevertheless, many living beings within a section of the ocean move together along certain current areas or share habitats. In the cosmic ocean that we can currently observe, there is a mysterious point of attraction that all galaxies seem to follow, the Great Attractor. This gigantic point of gravity pulls everything into its vicinity towards it and influences the movements of countless galaxies. You can think of the Great Attractor as a large region that has such an immense mass that it attracts everything around it. So, we are not flowing with our galaxy to a small specific point, but into a region that is so mysterious that it simply cannot be explained yet. 
Formations like the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall are hard to grasp, and yet this galaxy reef is just one of many structures influenced by the gigantic point of attraction. Of course, researchers would like to know how this enormous mass and gravity come about. So far, we only see the overwhelming gravitational pull of the region. It's as if a whirlpool exists in our vast cosmic ocean, exerting a gravitational pull on everything around it. That sounds impressive, and at the same time, a bit eerie. We don't know what this attractor is exactly. The great attractor itself remains partially obscured by the dense disk of the Milky Way. Further concern is caused by the fact that astronomers do not observe a linear, orderly progression of galaxies and structures. Rather, the center of attraction sets everything around it in a chaotic state of motion and dynamics. Furthermore, we have no idea whether this center of attraction is something like a real center of the known universe. It is also conceivable that this gigantic attractor is just one of many in the cosmic dance. The counterpart to the mysterious attraction is the dipole repeller. This is also a large region in the universe, but it has a repulsive rather than an attractive effect. The dipole repeller pushes galaxies away from itself and accelerates their flow towards the attractor. Similar to a magnet with two poles, hundreds of thousands of galaxies dance around these two points. The question arises as to what happens when our Milky Way reaches the attractor. Where does it go from there and what happens to galaxies within the attractor region? We will probably only be able to see this when we are even closer to the attractor or when our telescopes have become even more powerful. At the moment, the nature of the two flow points remains a mystery and we can only guess that sooner or later we will discover a completely new dimension of the universe here. From a scientific point of view, we could learn more about the structure and composition of the universe if we were to decode the attractor. The Great Attractor could give us important clues about the distribution of dark matter and the dynamics of the cosmos. There are also speculative and fictional theories that the Great Attractor is more than just a massive collection of galaxies. Perhaps it's a transitional place, a cosmic gateway that leads us to a completely different part of the universe. Such a place could function like a strait in a vast intergalactic ocean, through which the currents and movements of the galaxies are directed. If the Great Attractor is really just one stage in a larger journey, this could mean that the universe is much larger than we previously assumed. Click subscribe now and don't miss any new videos.